Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Thursday we got Inside Star Citizen and today is Friday. We got Star Citizen Live with the mission team. Here's what you need to know in 2 minutes and 34 seconds. The majority of the front end of this show spoke about New Babbage, the main landing zone for Microtech and its white box state. The planet's surface is harsh, which is a cool contrast with New Babbage. An upper tier luxurious area with domed ceilings and openness. 3.6 adds misfires and faults. The idea is to allow players to see the state of their gear by how they behave. These can be semi-random, but the longer that you abuse or wait for repair, the more likely it'll happen. Working a component beyond its limit will wear it out quicker, resulting in misfires and worsening reliability. These are for the main components. So I observed in the comments that some citizens are generally pissed off that efforts are being made to create faults in our components before fixing the bugs that we already have. It's quite important to remember that this is just a very narrow development goal. Just because work is being done on misfires doesn't mean that bugs aren't being fixed. The devs specified that misfire gameplay isn't intended to be brutal. We got a rehash of the law system. To recap, each system is going to have its own rules and a way of enforcing them. Moving on to Friday's Star Citizen Live. Not paying fines is going to become a felony if left unpaid for a long time. This will do permanent damage to your record. 3.7 should have a broader selection of places to pay off the bounty or fines, including kiosks. They did mention that much later, after the bounty hunting gameplay is added, they might work on a way to send an NPC bounty hunter to visit you to remind you to pay. Missions on the surface are challenging, however adding missions within a procedurally generated cave has extra challenges. The code would need to consider whether or not the required mission objects could have actually been moved into the cave. Some missions will pay in more than just credits, such as special gear or rare material, perhaps a unique piece of hangar flare, or simply reputation. Missions will be multipath, meaning you don't have to choose only one set of choices to reach the outcome. Missions will have many decision points and then react properly based on what you choose. Tessa Bannister is going to return with a new role and new lines. Shipwreck diversity is going to be coming with better fidelity. Shipwreck missions may include FPS versus pitting two teams of players in combat in a larger shipwreck like a Starfare or an 890 jump. These are actually very complex in nature with many other features needed before they start to tackle it. Broken missions are unfortunate, but instability is part of development. The developer said that what seems like a simple mission may be tiered into other issues such as objects clipping through the floor or some other tied event, and this is why some missions don't work. That's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.